Wait! Before you click away from this video, we have a new great sci-fi series that premiered on Apple TV Plus recently, and this time it's about multiverses. <laughs> ah, multiverse. Dark Matter is the name of the show, and I'm very much enjoying it so far, so let's talk about it. This show stars Joel Edgerton, Alice Braga, Jennifer Connelly, Jimmy Simpson, and Deo Akinia. There's always got to be at least one name that I can't pronounce on the cast, and that guy is the name. So this show is covering something that has been very trendy at the moment, multiverses. Marvel has been doing it. DC does it. It's been really popular, but yet yeah, this show is making it actually fresh and feel very interesting. Joel Edgerton plays a man who one day after leaving a bar ends up waking in a place that looks familiar and yet is different. His life has suddenly changed and soon he realizes he's been kidnapped and brought into a different reality by none other than himself. Wow, talk about f***ing yourself over. Joel does a great job in the show. One of his personalities is slightly villainous, you know, kind of a jerk, the guy who kidnapped him and brought him to this other reality. And then the other personality is more of a timid guy who is a teacher, who has a normal family, and just has his life completely screwed up. I think he sells this character really well. He knows how to talk the science -y stuff. He knows how to seem like a fish out of water. He is just very interesting and intriguing to watch. He is pulling me in and making me feel invested in his journey and seeing what's going to happen. Like, is he going to end up back with his family that's the kind of things that i really want to know jennifer connelly plays his wife and she is just as good as she always is it's very satisfying to see her in a sci-fi and i really enjoy watching her start to put the pieces together because as her husband starts displaying different personality traits she starts putting things together i think she's starting to figure it out but the show is still going on so we'll see how it happens I'm really enjoying this show's take on the multiverse. It's a very covered topic, no doubt. People are probably getting sick of it, but I think this show is doing it in a very fresh way that is going to make it interesting. Part of the thing with the multiverse thing that Marvel has been doing is you get to see alternate versions of these characters, and I don't know, it's just, it's okay. It's not as cool as, like, this show. It's just very satisfying to see, and it's making me realize that maybe there's a possibility that in one of these realities, I'm actually a successful YouTuber. Isn't that something? I mean, wouldn't that be awesome? Don't get me hope. I don't know what the story is, if the show is going to be a miniseries or if it's going to have multiple seasons. I sure hope it has multiple seasons because I would love to see even more versions of these characters. There is a lot of ground to tell when you're talking about multiverses. Infinite possibilities we're talking. Infinite possibilities. So we should be able to have multiple seasons of the show, and I'm just very much excited by the possibility. So if you find yourself craving a sci-fi and you've already finished all the ones that are out there and you're waiting on House of the Dragon to start, then check out Dark Matter on Apple TV+. Plus. It's a great show. I think you're going to really like it if you're into multiverses. Apple TV Plus has been really rocking at sci-fi. They somehow just really nailed this niche. They're doing it better than the sci-fi channel ever did. The show is not over, so I'm not going to provide an actual score. Suffice to say, I think you should check this show out. And that's all I have to say. If you have seen the show, please put your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to hear more things from me, please subscribe to my channel. Oh, and please like this video if you like it. Later. <laughs>